You'll see live pictures here of the swollen Patuxent River in Cranston. The sun is out, the rain has stopped, but the record floodwaters continue to cause major problems for many neighborhoods in the West Bay. Here's the latest information coming into our newsroom. Officials from FEMA are in Rhode Island today. The Civil Air Patrol is flying over the Patuxent to view the flood damage from the air. Governor Don Kachiri has declared a state of emergency for parts of the ocean state. This could make Rhode Island eligible for federal reimbursement for flood-related expenses. Now, we've also been talking a lot about the Patuxent River, but uh, it's also important to remember that the Blackstone River is above flood stage in Cumberland and in Lincoln. We're working live, in-depth team coverage. Meteorologist Michelle Muscatello is in the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Forecast Center with the latest on the rising water. But first, Sean Daly is live in Cranston, where residents there, Sean, are coping firsthand with these historic floods. Yes, Elizabeth and Patrick, we're back here on Perkins Avenue in Cranston, just south, as it turns out, of Moore Avenue, which is exactly what the residents here don't want. More water. Enough already. Outside, the sounds of generators fill the air here in the South Elmwood section of Cranston as people here struggle to pump out their basements of staggering amounts of water. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it might be time to move. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. This is the worst we've had. I've been here since 76, and uh, this is the worst. Inside, the water is measured not in inches, but in feet. Three feet, four feet, five feet. In one basement, the water almost reached the electrical panel. Homeowners here are numb. They've all seen flooding before, but nothing even nearly this bad. What's the emotional impact of this? You can't even describe it. I just want to sit down and, and cry. I did not sleep much at all last night. I worried about the house. We can see where the water is right now. Show me where it was at its height. You can see the line here, so right about here. Like emotionally, it's too much to process. That's why I think some, some of the families are in shock. Some of us understand that, you know, there's nothing we could do to prevent it, but we have no recourse, we have no action, we have nothing. What's this like? Well, I don't have to say it. You can see it. It's, um, we, we can't sell the houses. No one wants to buy them. Uh, we're we're kind of stuck here. Stuck here and not happily as the overflowing Patuxent River wends its way down Perkins Avenue and beyond back there. This is exactly the kind of waterfront property people don't dream of. Live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.